Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making the only drink you will need this summer, okay? We are talking about wine slushies. Oh my God, I made the peach Moscato last time and today we are making strawberry Jolly Rancher wine slushies. Oh my God, they are so good, you guys. And of course, they are easy to make with only four ingredients. Let's go. Okay, here's our cast of characters right here. We're gonna start by adding our frozen strawberries into your blender, and I am giving away a blend tag on my Instagram next week, you guys, so be sure to follow me there. All right, now we're gonna add in our Moscato, my favorite wine ever, I love Moscato. I'm using the Barefoot brand, use whatever kind, you know, whatever floats your boat. Add that into the blender, just a splash to kinda help puree and get a little bit easier, okay? All right, now we're gonna turn this blender on and get everything all pureed and stuff. That looks good, just like that right there. And the texture is kind of like nice and creamy like that, love it. Okay, now it's time for our sour apple pucker. This is gonna give it that little, you know how Jolly Ranch just kind of got that little sourness to them a little bit? This is gonna add that sourness perfectly. Go ahead and throw that right into the blender and now it's time for more wine. I'm only using a half a cup, but you can use more if you want to, but a half a cup, yeah, I like that. Go ahead and add that into the blender. And next we're just going to turn that blender on and get everything um, pureed and mixed in, just like that. Okay, looks good. Now we're gonna add some sugar, powdered sugar to kinda help bring out the sweetness of the strawberries. If your strawberries are really sweet, you may not need it, all right? So go ahead and stir that sugar in there. Go ahead and give it a taste. Now right now, go ahead and do your little tasting period. Taste it, you might need a little bit more of the sour apple taste. You might need a little bit more of the strawberries, okay? Just get it right at this point. Then we're gonna give it another little blend to get all that sugar mixed in, and then we're gonna add these into my little ice cube trays. I love these trays so much, oh my gosh. I gotta a link to where I got them from. They're actually like baby food um, trays, but yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put the little lid on. We're gonna freeze it until it is solid. I never wait that long though. I always cheat and take it out a little bit early because I, oh, I love it. Okay, so here they are. Nicely frozen, okay? We're gonna place these little cubes back into our blender because I wanna get that perfect icy texture, okay? So we need to, um, you know, yeah, freeze it and then put it back into the blender. Okay, like that, and then we're just going to blend. You may need to add a splash of wine if you're having a hard time blending it up, but see, mine was kinda like thawed out, so yeah, look at that texture, I love this texture. Oh my God, it's the bomb. Now go ahead and pour these into your wine glass and you are good to go, honey. Call them girls over and have some girl time. And do not forget to add, to make these and just store them in the freezer. That way you have them ready to go whenever you have company. And it's like the perfect little way to cool down on a hot day. Garnish them with the strawberry and you are done. Look at that. Oh, all icy and stuff. Yes, this was so good. Don't forget, you guys, you can find this full recipe on my blog, dwestoncook.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later.